king of natural fibers, abaca or manila hemp, is indigenous in the Philippines. Its length varies from 3 to 9 feet depending on the height of the plant and the age of the leaf sheath. Close to 90% of the world's supply comes from the country, particularly in the abaca producing regions of Visayas, Mindanao, and Bicol. For centuries, it has provided income and profit to Filipino farmers because of its strength. However, a recent downturn in the production caused by viral disease infection, destruction of ecosystems, low receptivity and non-adoption of production technologies, lack of information, and low farm gate prices has resulted to the decline in the socio-economic conditions of farmers who depend on abaca. In 2009, the Fiber Industry Development Authority in Region 5 and the Bureau of Agricultural Research implemented the Abakayamanan program. Along with other government and private entities, the program aims to increase productivity of abaca farms in Bicol through integrated farming systems and value-adding activities. The main objective of this is to increase the income of the farmers through a the adoption of the integrated farming system wherein we could have some solution towards introductions of value-adding activities, piloting some technologies that this can be uh, adapted. Specifically, Abakaya Manan seeks to enhance the capacity of abaca farmers and update them with modernized production technologies through the collaborative efforts of FIDA, BAR, and the local government units. There are three components of the project wherein uh, it covers on the capacity enhancement, uh, establishment of uh, two pilot farms for existing and newly open areas as well on the capacity building of the farmers. With the existence of abaca cooperatives and associations with willing and active members, Barangay Bentuco in Gubat Sorsogon, and San Roque in Malilipot Albay were chosen as project sites. We focus on the adoption of uh, integrated farming system through the introduction of compatible crops. The one hectare farm in Bentuco, which used to be planted with coconut and bananas, was leased by the Gubat Abaca Growers Cooperative and is now planted with Musatex 51 and tissue cultured plants. Another farm being managed by the cooperative is an existing plantation in the same community. The model farm in San Roque, Malilipot Albay is being managed by the Malilipot Abaca Planters Association. Located not far from another abaca plantation, the area underwent the regular land preparation procedures such as plowing and harrowing and is now planted with Musatex seed pieces obtained from the FIDA seed bank. The abaca are planted 2.5 meters by 2.5 meters apart. Diversified and integrated farming systems are being promoted to increase farm productivity by maximizing land use and resources. We adapted the integrated farming system because we would like to increase the income of the farmers while awaiting the main crop to be uh, productive. Vegetables such as beans, pechay, squash, eggplants and okra, as well as peanuts and other leguminous plants are planted in between the main crops. We also have an additional source of income wherein we advocate a livelihood training. Uh, which composed of scratch making, bag making. We also introduced the uh, raising of animals like goat in order to have an additional income to the farmers. In order to sustain production of high quality fibers, FIDA is keen on the production of disease free abaca plants. 
we advocate some systems on the disease eradication as well as on the proper monitoring or early surveillance of the disease incidents. For both new and existing areas, the beneficiaries were taught the proper manner of insecticidal spraying and handling of chemicals as well as the use of organic fertilizer. On the, uh, exist on the existing plantations, we have a series of lectures also in terms of the identifications of the diseases, especially on the viruses, the mechanism of transmission, the cause and effect on terms of the produce of the fiber, as well as on the proper control of the disease. With the increasing demand for abaca fibers, both in the local and international markets, the Abakayamanan program continues to implement the components relative to the sustainable production of the crop. Today, the happy faces of the cooperative members are proof of the success of the project. Natutunan namin ang iba't ibang skill sa paggawa ng handicraft sa tulong ng gobyerno at tulad ng paghahabi ng sinamay paggawa ng two-ply, three-ply, Kenya twine, saka yung abaka, pinukpok. Marami na po ang naitulong sa amin ng gobyerno. Yung pananim na gulay, pananim na abaka, yung seed pieces, yung tissue culture, saka yung fertilizer, nabigyan na po kami. Malaking tulong po sa amin, sa aming mga pamilya na magkaroon po uli ng magandang produkto yung abaka. Nagagamit po yan namin sa aming pagpapaaral sa aming mga anak. As opportunities and prospects arise, the abaka remains the strongest fiber in the local Philippine agriculture. <music>